Time now for a little bit first. Guys, it was just this week that Von Miller was traded from Denver to the Rams. Played his whole career in Denver. Ten years is a long time. He was Denver. He lived Denver. He cried when he left Denver. We saw it on Monday. You saw him in that van. He was crying at that little makeshift press conference in that interview. It's not going to be easy to now just be a Ram. Not for Vaughn. He was a Bronco. And that transition to a new team, a new life, a new process, that is hard. So you had to wonder how he was going to handle the pain in his first press conference as a Ram. Take a listen. Came here to the facility, started meeting players, and uh, yeah, it's starting to feel good. It's starting to feel real good. If you look at all the talent that we have, you know, I went to sleep four and four and woke up seven and one. You know, it's not, you know, it's, it's, it's not, you know, on the back end of things, you know, it's, it's not really that bad. And, you know, it's, it's better for me, it's better for the organization. And, and you just got to, you know, let reality seek in. And, um, I get to play with, you know, Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey and Leonard Floyd, Leonard Floyd and, you know, Matthew Stafford and this solid offensive line. And they got a, they got a solid team. And, you know, the Denver Broncos, they're, they're, they're still building. You know, there's still family and stuff, but this team is ready to win right now, ready to win championships right now, and I'm, I'm excited to be a part of it. He's obviously so upset, and he's clearly still hurting, and so my condolences go out to Von Miller. Uh, Guess who's back? Jonathan Taylor. Now that our guy Derrick Henry is unfortunately hurt, the best running back in the league is Jonathan Taylor. Not only is the best, yeah. He's also the fastest. The fastest running back? No, actually, the fastest player in the NFL, Jonathan Taylor, mm. is at top speed at 22 miles per hour on this 78-yard touchdown run. Fastest speed by a ball carrier this season. Now responsible for the two fastest speeds this season. Also ran 21.83 miles per hour. So here's the quick thing. When the NFL draft comes, everybody wants to find the little under-the-radar running back. Well, you know who's good? The running back that was setting records in college for the Wisconsin Badgers. Nicholas, you like to make fun of Bill Belichick yeah. when he misses a draft pick. You guys drafted yeah. the wrong running back. And am I a little bit upset oh, about it? Yes. Because I got my Lions upset pick alert wrong last week. I'm digging in the crates to a take that is two years old telling the Chiefs to draft Jonathan Taylor. Just wanted to play that out there for a Friday. I was Your actually right so that's 500 this week. With, with the Chiefs is unhealthy. I mean, it, this is a cult running back discussion. And you're like, hey, remember the draft? And Jenna, if yeah. we want to talk about teams drafting the wrong running back, what about the team that had the choice of two running backs, both from Georgia, and took Sony Michelle Sonny over Michelle. Nick Chubb? Because that's your no, team, no, buddy. You so you no, can zip you it. it you player, but no, can no, zip it, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go to upset alert so we can laugh. <laughs> he was going to bring up LeBron somehow, but he decided not to. Yeah, upset alert. Here we go. Whoa. Carson Wentz and Jonathan Taylor taking care of business last night. We just saw it. Help the Colts avoid an upset. Three touchdown passes for Wentz. A buck 72 on the ground and two TDs for Taylor. How about that? All right, Broussard. Indy did their job last night, but which team should be on upset alert in week nine? Well, look, I, I wish the Knicks Falcons weren't favored uh, or I'd pick them. I mean, that's an easy win every week. I, I, I was right last <laughs> week on the upset alert. He mocked me, but I was right. Um, I am going to shock people, though, I believe. I'm going with Cincinnati. And I, I know all the turmoil that is going on in Cleveland. I understand that the Bengals are coming about off about as bad of a loss as there could be, right? You lose to the Jets, who are horrific. And the Jets with Mike White, who, while maybe he'll be something special down the road, was a fifth-round draft pick from a scout team all right, in Dallas. And they're going to want to revitalize their season. I get all that. But oftentimes, calamity or adversity, whatever you want to call it, can really get a team recharged at least for a week or two. Okay? We saw how Las Vegas responded to the John Gruden issue. We've seen how Green Bay losing its top three receivers, losing players on the defensive end, their defensive coordinator. They go out and beat the top team in the league in Arizona. We even saw this Cleveland team last year in the playoffs respond to their head coach being out with COVID. 
and they go and beat Pittsburgh in the playoffs. So I believe that all of this stuff going on in Cleveland, coupled with the fact that the Browns really need a win, is going to lead them to play a strong football game. And I'm putting the Bengals Nick, on upset alert. It's not a bad take. I'm going to squeeze in a bonus take just because we showed those Jets Colts highlights. Worst case scenario for the Jets last night. Mike White plays well, gets hurt. Why is it the worst case scenario? Because now the America didn't get to see the inevitable Mike White fall from grace. And now it's just he's just going to be hanging over poor Zach Wilson. Mike White was not going to be this next great quarterback, but we never got to see it. So now everyone's going to be clamoring for Mike White. It's just terrible for the Jets. Here's the upset True. alert, though. It is those Atlanta Falcons over the New Orleans Saints, Bruce. Uh, I said, write it in blood. Write it in blood, I said. The Falcons would get to four and four. Well, they're three and four. What's Dusty's in my ear? He's saying I guaranteed the Falcons would get to five and three, not four and four. <laughs> Prove it, Dusty. Yeah, four and yeah. four is what I said. They're going to get there this week. We get and the America, tape. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now, America, Taysom Hill, you get to bet against Taysom Hill laying almost a touchdown. Oh, my God. Opportunities like this, don't co they come up once in a lifetime. <laughs> Taysom Hill laying six and a half points. Oh, sweet, sweet <laughs> nectar of the gods. Give me that free money. Atlanta, plus the six and a half. Atlanta, oh, I'm almost doing Nick's picks already. Atlanta, upset over the New Orleans Saints with the Taysom cosplaying quarterback situation. Let's go, Wilds. Okay, so your old buddy Kevin Wilds was on an upset alert hot streak for a few weeks. Got a little over his skis. He got cocky. Yeah, yeah picked, yeah. picked Lions over <laughs> Eagles. Got ugly. So what do I do? Do I lick my wounds and fly back from Las Vegas? Or do I just go to the ATM and call my bank and ask for a marker and say, I need to get it back right now? I'm going that way. Yeah. Bills, Jacksonville. The what? line is no. 14, up to 14 and a oh, half. No. Now, I'm not saying this is an outright win. This is not called outright win alert. It's just called upset alert. They should be on alert. Here's why. First of all, we need something out of Trevor Lawrence. We've shown more Trevor Lawrence Pro Day video on this show than we have highlights in the NFL. <laughs> True story, we looked it up. Reason number two, <laughs> the Bills. Little lackadaisical, little lackadaisical. They looked at their schedule and said, oh, we're the Bills. Let's take it easy, let's relax, let's lean back in this chair. We got a bye week, we got the Dolphins, we got Jacksonville, we got the Jets. Came out very slow against the Dolphins. Was tied 3-3 at halftime at home. Now they're going to Jacksonville. Last little point, and I believe in this. The Manning curse, the, not the Madden curse, not the Sports Illustrated curse. The Manning curse. Every time a player goes on the Manning cast, that player loses the next game. <laughs> Kelsey, you didn't even know who he's playing. Russ Gronk, Stafford, and Brady. Well, guess who was on last week? Josh Allen, Jenna. Not the Josh Allen from the Jaguars, the Josh Allen from the Bills. I was going to say it. Yeah. So, putting the Bills on upset alert. Can I upset ask a question alert. quickly? Going to get it all wow. back today. Wow. Go Did ahead. Did the wow. Bills right. get to make their own schedule? I know. They played the Texans and Dolphins already. <laughs> last, last week, they played the Dolphins again. This week, they play the Jags. And next week, they play the Jets? Like, where was and this got schedule to play the available Chiefs. to the rest of the league? They go Dolphins, Jags, Jets for three weeks in the middle of their season? How the hell did that happen, Jenna? Who let this? What, what is happening?